What's good, everybody? Welcome into the Early Edge and our five best college football bets for 2022 by this man right here, our college football aficionado, Emory Hunt. So, college bet number one that you like. We're going to go out west. There's been so much upheaval within college football and with conferences, but one team that it seems like year in and year out to plays hard, plays strong, is BYU. What do you like? I like BYU going over eight wins, and the reason why you have Jaron Hall, fantastic quarterback, Big fan of what he was able to do last year as a full-time starter, taking over for Zach Wilson. 11 starters return. The defense and offensive line is where BYU is usually good, and when they're good up front, they're winning games. And you're talking about their offensive line, four out of the five starters return. I like BYU going over. Okay, very good. Now, down in the SEC, Alabama's a juggernaut, preseason number one. However, LSU, they're retooling. We've got a new head coach. What do you like here? I like LSU going over seven wins, and no one's talking about LSU. You bring in Jaden Daniels from Arizona State, fantastic quarterback. You also add some of the best defensive backs. Every one of their top defensive backs was in the NFL draft last year. Well, what they went out and did was they went and grabbed Makai Garner from my University of Louisiana. They went ahead and grabbed Greg Brooks and Joe Fouché, the two top defensive backs from Arkansas, seven banks from Ohio State. They are starters now in the secondary, which has B.J. Ojolari up front, that has Ali Gay up front, that has a Harold Perkins. True freshman linebacker, this guy will be a star by midseason. And on offense, I can trust Brian Kelly to coach up that offensive line. They still have Christian Boutte. They still have uh, Noah Caney bringing from Penn State to go along with John Emery in the run game. LSU is going over. They are my dark horse national title contender. Wow, wow. Brian Ke Kelly, he certainly seems very confident with his squad too if you listen to the interviews and see what he has to say so i like that pick a lot all right now some of the best value you can find when you go out west games that start at 9 30 10 o'clock at night and you don't watch a lot of sometimes you can miss out on great value there's a team called the cougars that you like this year to go over their total who are we talking about we're talking about washington state and the reason why i like the cougars i cover a lot of fcs football and Cam Ward was a star at Incarnate Word, which is down in San Antonio. He threw for a zillion yards and a zillion touchdowns. His head coach went, took the OC job at Washington State. So what did Cam Ward do? Transfer up to Washington State. And I expect them to go over five wins. They have a very good defensive line, good offensive front. And when you add a quarterback that has experience in the offense that they're going to run, and he's, by, by the way, talented, it reminds me a lot of what Steve McNair looked like at Alcorn. Washington State could be a problem in the uh, Pac-12 North, so I like them going over five wins for sure. It's funny that you should mention the Pac-12 because that conference is going to look a lot different in the next few years because of two teams and maybe other teams that will go to the Big Ten. In the Big Ten, though, there is a team in Indiana that if you sleep on them, you might sleep too much. What do you like with them this year? What I love most about the Hoosiers is the fact that folks jumped all over them last year, going into the last season, thinking that they were going to be a dark horse to win the Big Ten. But they suffered a lot of injuries. Michael Penix, the quarterback, was the key part of that. Once he was gone, they had no answers. Now they bring in Connor Baselick from Missouri, who was excellent, I thought, at Missouri. They bring him in. You got everyone back healthy now. And, and Tom Mallon does a great job of coaching up both sides of the ball. And when they were good two years ago, is because they were playing great complementary defense. Their offense was doing a solid job, chewing up the clock, putting the ball in the end zone. Defense was able to go out there and turn the ball over. Now you can do that with Connor Baselick. I like them going over four wins. This is way too low for who's your football team. It certainly does feel that way. Now, there are some times where football teams get overlooked because they're a basketball school, whether it's Duke or whoever it might be. UMass, for all of the year, they've been a basketball school. John Calipari coached there many, many years ago. But now they're not too bad at football either. What do you like here? Well, here's the thing about UMass. Uh, um, to put it nicely, they are terrible in football right now, right? <laughs> but they bring in Don Brown, who we know is excellent, coaching up defense. And this was a defense that was atrocious last year. They give up over 40 points a game. So now with Don Brown his aggressive approach, let's shrink that in half. Let's okay. say you give up 20. They have an NFL prospect that running back in. Ellis Merriweather, fantastic tailback, 6'2", 225. Old school defensive coaches, run game, play good defense. And the good part about that, they have 16 starters returning. Now, that could be a bad thing because they were bad last year. You got all those guys coming back. You're still bad, right? But, no, nah, they're going to be good. They're going to be better. They have to win three games. 
They have to go over two and a half wins. I think UMass can do it. There's five games in which they can get those three. They can – Stony Brook, that's, that's one. Okay. They beat UConn last year. They're back on the schedule. New Mexico State is another one. That's when they should win. And there's an iffy one out there in eastern Michigan. And also they have a chance, an outside chance against Temple. So I think they get their three wins to go over two and a half. Translation, sometimes you got to crawl before you can walk. Let's take a look at those five best college football bets by Emory. BYU over eight wins. LSU over seven wins. Washington State over five wins. Indiana, the Hoosiers over four wins. And UMass, all they need is three wins. Let's go get it. That is our college football futures. And this is the Early Edge. Good luck.